I had the major scales work on a piano keyboard like this. Why are the keys some white and some black in this weird pattern? It's easy for a C major scale, it's just all the white notes. If you want to play D major, you have to start using the black notes. Kind of sounds the same, just one note higher. You try and play E major, you've got to use even more black notes. So why is it that weird pattern, it's never really made sense to me until I learned a lot more about music and how it all fits together. So I thought I'd make this video and maybe try and make it a bit clearer uh, to anybody else who's puzzled. So the key to it is, although we have eight notes in an octave from one C to the next, there's actually 13 notes because if you count the black ones and that's the important thing is it's the pattern that the white notes make in relation to those 13 notes as a whole. If you saw these 13 notes spread out evenly, so they were each the same width as one of the white notes, then the pattern of notes you play for a major scale is the same for all major scales. So for C major it's just all the white notes because it's skipping a black note. This is a that's called a a tone interval between one white note and the next because you're skipping over a, one of the other notes. This is also a tone because it's skipping over a white, uh, a black note. This is a semitone because there's nothing in between and it's that tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, tone. That's what makes the major scale. So in this little animation I've made, we can spread out the notes to make them all the same width. And then you can easily see that if we just put this uh, template across the notes that are all evenly spaced with the correct pattern of uh, gaps and no gaps, then the major, major scales just fall out straight away. So we see the C major, it's just all the white notes. If we move the template along one space to start on the D, then we see that we need to play F sharp and C sharp to get the same pattern. And that's the D major scale and so on for all the others so you can work out any major scale just by using that template and you could print that out and use it to uh, to figure it out if you wanted to and you could do the same thing with minor scales and other scales as well some scales are different going down than they are going up and but you could do all that with the same kind of templates now I'm not a musician I haven't been trained in any kind of music theory it's just what I've kind of figured out for myself so it's probably wrong in many cases but at least for the basics it makes sense to me to think about these notes as being 13 evenly spaced notes because they are technically the the frequency from one to the next is fixed it goes off about five percent in frequency from one to the next when you play the chromatic scale so really these 13 notes are a nice even pattern the frequency of this one is twice the frequency of this one and in between they're all evenly spaced and then using that template you can find the major scale starting from any of the 13 notes in the octave. So Maybe that helps you, maybe it's uh, a useful thing to fill in a bit of understanding of how it all fits together in terms of the physics and the maths of the music. Um, if you're a musician it's probably just obvious anyway because you've internalized all that but uh, to me that, that was helpful so thanks for watching and see you next time